Hello, hello. How is everyone today? But today we're going to just hang out with me. Um, yes. Today we're going to go vintage shopping in, or just like thrift shopping in North Vancouver. Except the catch is that I'm only buying stuff for a music festival that I'm going to. It is currently 1.51 p.m. But I think, I think the places don't close until like five or four. So like that's good because I have a late start to the day because I was depressed all morning. I'm just getting out of the slump now. Oh my God, a little bug. I look like a little bug and I love it. Also, I'm in another hat today. I thought I'd debut another one into the collection. It says Budweiser. Budweiser Racing. I'm gonna go, actually, yeah. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I've been a little bit more consistent in my videos lately. I've been really trying to do that. Um, so let's see if that keeps going. Some of my comments a little bit ago said that they want me to do like a sit down video, just like a calm one where I just talk to the camera so you guys can find out more about me. And that terrifies me. I don't know how to just talk to a camera. That's why I like driving videos and cooking videos a lot because I just like l let my thoughts come out and just talk and just like say what's on my mind. Whereas if I'm just sitting staring at a camera, not half distracted, I don't know what's gonna come out of my face or, or out of my mouth. Or I feel like it's gonna be really forced, which I don't want that either. So that's terrifying. So when I get driving again and half distracted, I can start telling you things about me. With time, with time, I'll be able to do a sit down video. Um, but baby steps, Sydney's terrified. I'm born and raised in Prince George. I don't know if you know where that is. It's in British Columbia, it's in Northern British Columbia. But I currently live in Vancouver, downtown Vancouver. I've lived here for like three years now, almost. It'll be three years in August, um, which is crazy. Um, if you want to know about past Sydney, I did a bunch of sports when I was a kid. I was a competitive gymnast, competitive trampolinist, and then I did club and school volleyball as well. Um, I did gymnastics and trampoline until I was like 16, and then I quit both. Um, because gymnastics is abusive as fuck. It just took a lot of my mental health and it was just like, I lost love for the sport which is really unfortunate. It's always very sad when you see that happen or when it happens to you, but coaches can make or break a sport. And I indeed had a coach break a sport for me, um, gymnastics specifically. Um, but then I also just was too busy and so I wanted to be full-time volleyball because that was a lot easier on my mental health and a lot easier on just me. And I enjoyed it more towards the end of it. I'm just listing like random facts about myself. Just so you know. I'm very into fashion. Very, very, very into fashion. Went to school for fashion. Um, I want to work in the fashion industry. I don't really know where yet. Um, I think my dream is to work in fashion show production. So like being behind the scenes on a like Versace show or a Gucci show or a like Yves Saint Laurent show, Scaparelli. I want to be behind the scenes and making the show happen and being a part of the creative process for that, I think that'd be super fun. Or I wanted to be a stylist for a while until I realized that I would have FOMO styling or I'd be annoyed styling someone other than myself because I feel like in my mind, I don't have like a muse who I want to dress. I would just rather dress myself. I feel like if I put someone in a really good outfit, I would be like, have a little bit of FOMO or be like, I wish I got to just wear that outfit. So I realized I don't like being behind the scenes for like styling aspect. I would just rather be the front runner. Selfish, maybe, but I mean, it's my life. I get to choose how the, what career I want to do, you know? My dream would be attending the Met Gala. That's very out of reach, but you know, never say never, I guess. Um, last year when I was in Montreal, I got into F1, which was like super random for my personality, but like now I'm obsessed with it. When I was in Montreal for that trip, um, it was the week leading up to the Montreal Grand Prix. And so I left on the Thursday, which is media day when like everything was starting to happen. So like when I was there, a bunch of stuff was F1 related and whatever. And my sister was like, oh, I'm like, it's the F Grand Prix this weekend. And I was like, what the fuck is Formula One? Like, what is this? And she was like, it's a bunch of 
basically just a bunch of cars driving in circles really fast and I was like hmm I'm gonna check it out and ever since that day I've been addicted I watch all of the races I watch all of the qualifiers I even watch some of the practices I watch the interviews the behind the scenes I'm obsessed I'm obsessed with it and so shout out to my Montreal trip last year because this addiction is not going away anytime soon and I plan on going to a Grand Prix in the future but I just don't know which one I want to go to and they're very expensive and the trips are expensive and the accommodations are expensive and overall very expensive so I don't know when that will happen but the dream is to go to the Silverstone Grand Prix which is the British Grand Prix in case any of you are into Formula One and are curious about who I draw cheer for I'm a McLaren stan. I cheer for McLaren, like, die hard. Um, but my favorite driver ever is Lando. My second favorite driver is Oscar, so real, real McLaren girl here. I, I feel awkward talking about this. I feel like I'm talking about myself too much. I want to just, like, talk randomly. I'm going to rapid fire think my, this is my top 10 faves, okay? Lando Norris, Oscar Piastri, Daniel Ricciardo, George Russell, Carlos, Max Charles. But if Liam Lawson makes it onto the grid, he will get in your lane. He will become probably my third favorite driver. I love Liam Lawson. I think he has a lot of potential and I love that for him. I am a Pisces. I mean, my birthday was in February and I had a whole video about it. So, I mean, that one wasn't too hard to figure out. I bartend at one of the Vancouver restaurants here um, and I also intern at a modeling agency. I currently run the social media or the TikTok page for it. So everyone go follow Family Management on TikTok. It's Family MGMT. Go follow them. I'm a concert addict. Literally addicted to concerts. I have two this month. I have Cage the Elephant on the 24th. 4th, 25th, 26th, one of them. I think it's, I have Caged Elephant on the 26th and then I'm seeing Niall Horan in Toronto on the 28th, I think, yeah. And I will be vlogging that, so stay tuned. I will have a Toronto vlog coming up with me and my mom on that topic of family. I have three siblings. My sister, who was in my YouTube channel a little while ago, who is three years older than me, and then I have a brother who is nine years older than me. And then I have an oldest sister who's not like blood related to me, but just like we took her in. That sounds terrible. It sounds like she's a foster child. She's not. Um, if anyone knows like what billeting is for sports, sports, she lived with us for so that she could live in Prince George for a sport. And she basically just never left. Like we just like took her in. Like she does have an actual blood family and like siblings, whatever. But like she's family. We're sisters just without blood you know sometimes you get to choose your family okay family is not always just blood related you know okay so thrifting did not go well I didn't get anything I went to Salvation Army and just I didn't love anything there and then I went to two three vintage stores one was called the secret attic one was called wild honey and another one was called hunter and hair but like I do like the store I just didn't like any of the selection that day like none of it was too expensive it was all like quite reasonably priced like a cute little slip dress was like 30 bucks and I was like okay I can understand this but just unsuccessful which is not a big deal um I did however go to parallel 49 which is like a coffee shop got a donut review it is peanut butter and jelly I like it it's pretty good I even took a selfie with it. I'll be back. The donut was good. The thrifts were not the most successful. But I think I'm going to go to, actually I know that I'm going to Walmart because whenever I can go to Walmart, I do. Cause it's a lot cheaper than downtown super, supermarkets or grocery stores. I love North Vancouver. I would move down here if like one, I could afford it and two, it made sense. Like it doesn't make sense for me because it's cheaper for me to be in down, like not actually. It's definitely probably cheaper to find a van an apartment in North Van than downtown. But like I walk everywhere. So like I don't ever have to pay gas except for like when I decide to drive places like right now. Like I 
fill up my gas tank like five times a year, that's it. And also because I walk everywhere, I never have to pay for parking. And then also I wouldn't be near anyone. So I'd be bringing myself out of the way. But like, holy fuck, there's one section in North Vancouver, it's Lonsdale. It's like Lonsdale in second or Lonsdale in first, that whole area, the first, second, third. It's like, there's a cute breakfast place that I go to with my parents sometimes. There's a cute, two cute little donut shops that I love. Um, there's a sushi place that I love. There's three vintage stores near it. And there's free parking. Which, I, you're fucking, I've never once found free parking in downtown Vancouver. It doesn't exist. And North Vancouver has drive throughs And a Walmart. Downtown doesn't have a drive through I've never seen it. I fucking hate it. I hate that there's no drive throughs That's the one thing I miss about Prince George. The one. It's fucking annoying. Camera overheated and shut down. So, grocery haul time. So I got more spinach ravioli, some garlic bread, a different type of ravioli sauce, a bunch of cherry tomatoes, basil, and then mozzarella. I'm gonna be so honest when I tell you guys that I had a mental breakdown yesterday didn't finish the video. So it's the next day, today. And I'm still having a bad day, but we're gonna cook dinner, okay? Because hot girls eat. Let's begin. We're gonna have spinach and cheese ravioli. So my oven is right here, so you can't see what's going on, but I'm just gonna walk you through it. So I have a pot boiling, hot water. Today is gonna be a day where I'm just gonna be real, okay? We're gonna be really real. I'm gonna put this on a heat and put oil in it. So today is an anniversary of something. Um, I'm not gonna get into it, but it's currently June 12th today. And if you look at any of my social media, you'll crack the code, so yeah. I went to work today, so besides being at work, since I've been home, I have spent it having a mental breakdown, crying, um, and yeah, I was a bit too unmotivated and depressed that I was just going to not eat dinner, um, and then I was like, you know what, Sydney, we have struggled with this stuff in the past, and we're not gonna fall back into old habits just because you are having a hard day, you know? So here we are. I have garlic in here, and I'm just going to put it into my pan. I think it's important that I show like the non bubbly side of me as well because I am diagnosed with depression and anxiety and PTSD. I'm a triple threat. Um, and yes, this is doctor diagnosed. I did not just self-diagnose. Don't worry. You don't have to cancel me. Okay, so I just have garlic simmering with oil. For right now, the water is boiling. I'm going to just toss a bunch of baby tomatoes into here to kind of just simmer. I'm not gonna pre-cut them. One just fell on my sleeve. Okay, I'm not gonna pre-cut them because I'm just gonna wait until they're squishy and so I can get the juice from them. So it should be looking like this. Our music. Let it, let it shut up for a sec. It will shut up at some point. Okay, well, if it doesn't shut up, I'm gonna put basil in and I'll just do some music over top. Um, this may seem weird but I'm adding spinach because it's a spinach ravioli. So I feel like it's not that weird to add 
I also really like basil, but I need to have enough for me to have this again and not rebuy basil. So I'm also just gonna do a lot of my like basil um, powder, fresh ground pepper. I love pepper a lot. And then I'm not that good with spice. It's really embarrassing. Um, but I'm gonna put some chili flakes in. Like that. That's gonna make it really spicy, probably. I'm gonna put a little bit more though. And then I'm gonna keep stirring it around. So if you guys are going through a hard time, just know that I'm also going through a hard time. So maybe that will make you feel a little bit better that we're kind of suffering together. But overall, life is good. It's just some days can be a little bit triggering, especially anniversaries. It's important just to be patient with yourself. And when you're in the dumps, don't let yourself fall back into old habits. Still eat your dinner. Still get yourself out of bed. Adding some red sauce. I'm gonna add the rest of this bottle. Mm, we're also gonna make a garlic bread. And by make, I mean we're gonna heat up this one that I bought. So about when you're depressed, you just have to dance it out. Special thank you to Emma Chamberlain for the reason that this song is creative. And shout out to Role Model for writing this song about Emma Chamberlain. Mom and dad, except they broke up, so I'm a child of divorce. And I'm in love with both of them, so I guess I'm in love with mom and dad, which is kind of weird. To add white wine to the pasta, but I actually don't have white wine. So I think I'm going to add vodka. Just a tiny bit. Like that. Like a shot, half a shot. I'm just gonna let this simmer for a bit while I wait for my noodles to cook that I haven't even put in yet. Okay, we need to just ignore that my air fryer is on and it's loud. But my noodles are cooked, so we're gonna just get a little thing of pot and pouring it into the sauce. I accidentally made too much. And when I say too much, I mean too much. But what can you do? Was it stupid to put my hand there? Yes. Did I do it? Yes. Beautiful. I've made this recipe in the past, and I used burrata, but I went to three grocery stores and I couldn't find it. So we are accepting the fact that we're using mozzarella. I need it to melt so it can make everything a little bit creamier. Okay, let's dish up. I would made way too much sauce, but that's okay. You just crumble it on top. It doesn't look as appetizing as I wanted it to. I've kind of reached the point of peak depression where I kind of just want to eat in silence. But I will give you guys the first bite. Yeah. I made the sauce a little bit too liquidy, but that's just something I'll remember for next time. Happy with the food. I'm sorry for being so gloomy and blue. But I will do a video of me sitting down eventually and just like talking about myself 
Or maybe like one day if I have more than like three fans, I could do like a little Q&A so you guys can get to know me. Um, if you have any questions for me, ask in the comments for like my five view viewers that come back. Please do it. And the next coming videos are exciting because I'm going on a couple trips. Life is good. <laughs> have a good night. Love you.